This training video was developed at the Statistical Services Centre at the University of Reading. It's part of a set of resources aimed primarily at researchers. When you have several data entry staff, all entering data for the same survey, there will come a time when you want to merge the data files they are creating. This can be done using the Concatenate Data tool in CS Pro. The data file is a text file which can be viewed in a standard text editor. Here we see a data file showing six cases for our baseline survey. The longer lines are for the household records and the shorter lines are the activity records. Without the data dictionary it would be almost impossible to decipher these data, although you can probably recognise the not applicable codes of minus 888.88 for some of the income fields. Under no circumstances should you attempt to make changes to the data other than through the CS Pro data entry system as mistakes can often render the file unusable. As with most of the tools in CS Pro, the Concatenate Data tool is available from the Tools menu or directly via the Windows Start menu. The first thing you need to specify when opening Concatenate Data is the output file. We click Browse to find the right location and then give the name as baseline survey merged. That. If the file already exists it will be overwritten. We click OK. Now we want to add the files that we want to merge and we have three files for our example. Note all the files must be based on the same dictionary file. We click add to find the first file which is baseline survey one dot that. That adds it. Click add again to add the second one, baseline survey 2, and finally the third one, baseline survey 3. Then we click run, and this tells us the concatenation is complete. The text viewer lists the three files that have been merged and the name of the output file and tells us again that the concatenation was successful. To view the merged data, we open the data entry application and load the merged data file. Baseline survey merged. And here we have 15 cases in our newly merged file, which is correct. When you concatenate data files, you need to make sure there are no duplicate cases among the files. Each file to be merged must have a unique set of cases. These 15 cases you see are all unique. If there are duplicates, you will encounter problems when you try to view and use the merged data. For example, this file includes uh, a case for household one in village one. Let's have a look at the file baseline survey 4. This also has a case for household 1, village 1. Let's try to merge these two files and see what happens. We come back to CS Pro, we go to Tools, Concatenate Data. We give the output file name as duplicate cases. Then we merge the two files Baseline Survey Merged and Baseline Survey 4 and click Run. That concatenation is complete and it's successful. But let's try to use that newly merged data set. We run the application, we find the file duplicate cases and try to open it. This time CS Pro gives us an error message and tells us there are duplicate cases in Household 1, Village 1. It cannot create the index and therefore cannot load the application.
The concatenate data tool does exactly what its name implies and takes cases from two or more files into a new merged file. It does not check for duplicates, so you must ensure there are no duplicates among the individual files. Otherwise, the resulting file will be unusable. One final reminder is that you should not attempt to make changes to the data using a standard text editor, as this may render the file unusable.